Subscribers and fans, Iceman here. And one of you guys gave me the idea in the comment section, the idea of the Indominus Rex still being alive today. Yeah, it's extremely spooky and a rather terrifying thought, but it never really crossed my mind. I just assumed the damn thing was dead when the Mosasaur pulled it down to the depths. But you know what? It might still be alive because we know that it was a hybrid of many things. And on top of that, Henry Wu even exploited the information that it could be other things that wasn't really uh, addressed to the public. Perhaps a water dinosaur of some sort, or a marine reptile. What if the damn thing can breathe underwater? See, we don't know these things. The Mosasaur, being a natural creature, probably assumed it just had to pull the damn thing under the water in order to murder it. However, it is not in the Mosasaur's instinctive nature to see the Indominus Rex, or a bipedal theropod, for that matter, to be able to breathe underwater. So it makes sense to me, with that sort of spin on the whole thing, that the Mosasaur could have made a mistake because it's nowhere in its biological makeup for it to understand that as a threat once it can pull the freaking thing underwater. You know what I'm saying? Just like how crocodiles pulled gazelles down to the depths. They just drowned them, man. Like a gazelle is not gonna breathe underwater like the Indominus Rex might be able to. And if that's the case, it might have kicked its ass down there. There might have been a deep water brawl going on between the Mosasaur and the Indominus Rex, where the Indominus Rex just started tearing the shit out of the Mosasaur. Can you imagine that? I mean, it was strong, extremely strong, in the density of the skin and the sort of flesh-like armor that it had going on. It might not have died. And it's kind of strange and eerie how it ended in that way. That's the last shot we got of the damn thing. The Mosasaur just pulls it down underwater. We hear some bellows from down there. And then it transitions to another scene. What are they hiding from us, man? They must be hiding something, don't you think? Or they could be anyway. See, it's a possibility. And that's the point. This is a theory. Don't take it as fact. But check it out. I think it has some backing to it. And it would make for an interesting plot line. And I know, it's not really the story I want to hear right now, because we've already seen the Indominus Rex, and a lot of us were sick of the hybrids. But check this out. The Indominus Rex was still growing. Remember? It wasn't fully grown yet. So we might have an even greater threat now in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This fully grown Indominus Rex. And it just chewed up a Mosasaur, if that's the case. Like, there's a lot of protein in a Mosasaur, can you imagine? There are like millions of grams of protein in there, I bet. So he might have been feasting on that, and after, or she rather, and after she gained that experience of kicking the ass of something like 10 times its size, not quite, but close, it probably could have went on a rampage after that, and just started feasting on anything it pleased on the island. So there might be that dynamic. We can't rule this out. There's no way we should. There's no proof that it's dead. And it was left open that there could be other things mixed in with its DNA. So a rather interesting theory. And what do you guys think about that? I mean, do you think that's a plausible theory? And would you mind seeing that implemented into Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Ooh. Let me know in the comments section below. And like this damn video if you haven't yet. For I am the Ice Man. Where's the goat?